Hello. Uh today we are taking a slight deviation from our accounting path because we got some inquiries from uh from our trainees that how to print an, an invoice in a letterhead because many of them they started ex- experimenting with I mean with the invoices and uh, they already got got very good understanding how to make p- sales invoice purchase invoicing and all and now we got some enquiries um, how to how to do that so we are just doing that here if you say go to sales sales invoices as we discussed yesterday and uh, we 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 take any any of the invoices and you, if you go here you can just simply print it but the problem is it's the standard invoice without any any letter head or 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 uh, we have many options like tax invoices uh invoice returns and all different type of invoices we have but the problem is we it's it's not printed on a letter head or we are not customizing anything on on this interface so if you look at here there is no letter head so first we have to make a letter head so we can go by the setting and all but we will we will as we always do we have a shortcut here we can just do it here letter head letter head list and you can see there is no letter head here so i'm just adding a letter head here my letter head and just save it and it will give you some options image so i'm taking an image from my my computer it's a coca cola logo just for testing and here if you just save it here you can see i'm i'm taking another screen so it would be easy to understand here sales invoice also you can, you can type it here sales invoice list because our menu is bigger and bigger and it's uh, going through menu become hard so i'll just so here when we are printing now if you get it here you can see my letter head there is no letter head option is there you can print it simply like before and you can put my letter head so you can see the letter head i mean you can adjust this i mean you can put so many things in this side that side here you can you can put your company site here telephone number is here logo here company name is here it depends on uh your your standard letter head or how aesthetic you you want to look your your thing but this is just for you for the for the simple explanation and if you if you look at this down here it's empty empty there is there is nothing on the foot so we need to add something here like our our telephone our telephone and here our website and all so we need to add a footer also so i'll just add a footer go back to here on the letter head then there is a footer on the footer we can put something like telephone number like 4456632 email sales at yapgolf.com and visit visit our website so i added here but there will be some issues but i will show you that here i'm just refreshing this in refreshing this invoice so what you will see here on the footer
on the photo it, it it's like this i mean it's not it's not formatted it's just letters i mean it's just plain text and you may not want it like this you need you need it beautifully aligned and all so in the footer it's actually you need to put a html format i mean it it has to be in html format i hope you know html what is html format and all but i will just if if you go to w3schools.com this is the this is the most popular html training so you can you can make a small small html thing this is look here you can see this is a heading this is a paragraph so you can you can format it like here you can put this is actually there is uh, html you if you want to make small text and all properly aligned and everything you can just i mean we we our staff our support team can help you but if you want to do it yourself if you want to do it yourself you can you can just do it here it's uh i'm i'm not not putting a correct formatting or something but it's just if you want to be familiar with this okay now run you will see it here so if you copy this we copy this and paste it over here and, and put a preview it is it will be like that so if you save it and you can see it here um, it's just an example you can you can you mean you can do whatever type of the google there are thousand type of letter heads are there you it's according to your 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 policy and style and itself it it will be shown here you can you can add something like colors and all it it's like on the w3 you can find it like colors if you want to put colors on that you can just put it like i make it on here it's just html example we are not giving an html training anyway but but here if you think you want to add some color you can just put it here the color and and save it and save it so you can you can put it put it on the bottom see here you can you can put it with this side and you can if you want to put a picture here i mean you can you can do whatever you want and on the top also and on the side also on, on the bottom also oh sorry not on the side on top and the bottom and if if you see this this is the only thing this is not the only thing you may need you may need here terms and conditions here there are so many things like terms and conditions terms and conditions signatory signature or i mean there there are there are a lot of things that you may need it here this uh, there are a lot of things you may need it that all you can do here in programmatically like i will show you but this is we are not going on a complete training mode because we got some enquiry how to how to put this that's the only reason that we are going here but if you want to understand yourself now later in the, in the session we will explain explain all of these features thoroughly but if you need like I, i'm putting other one for example if you want to change the sales invoice you want to put it something different instead of sales invoice you can put it here customer invoice or you can you can change here all this field you can pull some from some field from here to there and you can remove from some some field from here to here back and uh, you can 
you mean you can contact a uh, warehouse let's say if you don't need warehouse details in the in the invoice you can remove it from here you can just drag and drop it here if you aren't something like uh branch details here you can just drag it here i mean it it's very flexible you can you you, you can make an invoice you are on but the standard one is one is perfect for most of the companies 99% of the companies you can just just change the change it and and use it like the one now just we have made a made our own invoice type so look at here first time sales invoice if you go there when you are printing you have here sales invoice but you can change it into my own format it say it is customer invoice and you can you can add we had some fields you can remove fields and all and letter head you can have multiple letter head for example you have one letter head for you you are on team one letter head for some other purpose you 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 can have multiple letter head you can just go here and add letter head list and add as many letter head as you want and you can use this letter head in uh, other other things like on on delivery note or a material request or or wherever if you want you can i mean i don't have a delivery note so far we will we will have it tomorrow uh so you have a stock entry probably no and we have a purchase receipt of course we have we have done that in the past no okay so we have a quotation we have a quotation so it's a uh, it's different so you can print this quotation with different is quotation and you can put it in letter head you can add another letter head with that but anyway the concept is clear you can just do that you can you can call us for the support if you are thinking that you need some advanced thing on this uh, let's see and we will do tomorrow some stock of stock entry and other stuff subscribe our our youtube channel so whenever we are updating new video you will get the, you will get the notification thanks thanks appreciate that